Hey guys, I wanted to make a video to show some of you how to remove a cassette off of the bike. Um, for those of you without special tools, like without having a chain, lip, a chain whip or without having the special connector that goes inside of the cassette to loosen it up. Um, there have been a few videos that I watched earlier that show specific techniques that you can use. Um, and after looking at them, I tried something else and I think it works a bit better. So uh, I wanted to show you guys. First, I'll show you guys the other techniques that people were using. And then uh, I'll show you the method that I kind of came up with that worked for me. So uh, hopefully this video helps you out, guys. So as you can see here on my bike, this is the rear cassette. Um, this right here is the uh, special tool that inserts into this locking nut to loosen it right here. And as you can see, it's kind of like a hex design, but it's a special size, a special fitting that you need to get in there to remove this locking nut right here from the rest of the cassette. And then these first two gears come off and then the rest of the sprocket comes off. And then also you need a chain whip, which essentially holds the gears in place so the uh, cassette does not move as you loosen that special fitting. You put a wrench on it and loosen it. Um, but I don't have either of those parts and I really wanted to get this done. So uh, I'll show you the first technique that I saw. Okay, so here's the first technique I saw on YouTube. Uh, it's rather crudely set up here. I didn't really set it up just for the sake of having enough hands to film and show how it, other people were doing it. Uh, someone was using a pipe wrench to essentially tighten and hold the gears acting as the chain whip to hold the cassette in place. And then someone had wedged uh, like a flathead screwdriver into that locking nut. And then essentially, obviously, this screwdriver would be a bit flatter to, to loosen it move it that way. And then they were essentially hitting it with a uh, hammer to loosen it and work that off and using the pipe wrench as the leverage against it. Um, I didn't like this technique simply because the teeth of the pipe wrench we're essentially clamping and putting tension on the teeth of the um, cassette and I didn't want to wear out these teeth on the um, cassette and then have problems with that later on. Next technique I saw was essentially the same thing but instead of using a pipe wrench to clamp down the sprocket they were using one of these pliers and um, still the same thing using a screwdriver and uh, hitting it with a hammer and uh, essentially loosening that locking nut to uh, remove it. Um, I didn't like that either just simply because of the tension that you're putting on those gears right there. Uh, I did it really loosely just to show for the sake of the video um, and in case you guys want to try it. And then also uh, also another reason I didn't like it, I didn't like the um, just the blunt force of a screwdriver going into this locking nut and um, you know possibly stripping that and not being able to use it further on. Um, so uh, that's another technique that you guys can try out. And finally the conclusion that I came to was grabbing a pair of needle nose pliers and inserting it. Uh, I got a size that would fit kind of perfectly into that locking nut. And then I just held the cassette with my hand and loosened it. Um, I had already loosened this just for the sake of having it in the video and uh, holding the needle nose pliers and then you just twist that out and then uh, as that comes undone uh, you just take this off that locking nut right there that's what it looks like set it down on mine the first two gears come off on their own and then the rest of the cassette and then you uh, can do whatever you'd like so hopefully this video helped you guys out if you guys have any uh, questions or comments feel free to let me know all right thanks a lot guys